What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're actually going to be talking about WWE in this video here today. Uh, I put out a post a couple days ago saying that if Bray Wyatt returned, I would make a video. And after weeks of speculation and obvious, I would say, confirmations from the misdirect attempts from WWE, the White Rabbit mystery has been solved and Wyndham Rotunda, aka Bray Wyatt, has indeed returned to the company. Now, I will say that this was one of the best returns I've seen in recent memory in terms of just the crowd pop that was such a good thing to hear for this man after everything he had been through with the other administration and the fact that he had the mental fortitude i would say to come back and try this out once again i hope this works out for him because he is one of the most creative wrestlers today and he deserved that pop i'm glad that that's the reaction that he got and i'm glad that they did it the way that they did how they closed out extreme rules 2022 with the return of bray white so that the way that they were playing with you to make you think that it was going to go off the air without revealing the white rabbit after they had already confirmed on the night before on smackdown that we were going to find out the identity of white rabbit um i mean we even heard like we want wyatt chance throughout the night and again the way they faked you out to think that it was going to go off the air without the reveal after the riddle and rollins match so after that match the outro card came up but shortly after the lights went out the fireflies came out and he's got the whole world in his hands played on a loop while while we continue to just shoot over to individuals dressed as the five five funhouse crew you had i think abby the witch rambling rabbit i think huskis the pig and we even sealed the return with the fiend mask appearing on the commentary table so it was like a literal horror film almost i would say in the like a Five Nights at Freddy had come to Extreme Rules. And what was fascinating about this was there were reports of a Fiend movie, I believe, being pitched for Wyatt a while back. I'll say this, if Bray is able to flex the creativity we know he has under this new administration, then I'm all for a Fiend movie. Now, he did not return as the Fiend, which I know was very disappointing to a lot of people, but during this whole return, this last sequence of Extreme Rules 2022, Wyatt eventually made himself known at the pay-per-view by walking through a door, carrying his, carrying his signature lantern before he blew it out. Now, the mask he was wearing, I've seen people people make this reference and i was thinking the same thing scott derrickson if you saw that i'm i'm curious was bray wyatt a fan of the black phone not that it was the exact same but i think bray wyatt might be a fan of the black phone and a fan of that grabber character so i'm so happy that this man is back because the old cancer is now gone i can only imagine what triple h will allow him to do i believe at one point fightful had reported that vince mcmahon's opinion of bray wyatt changed towards the end of his time with them like back in 2021 when he was released around july mcmahon allegedly didn't like that Wyatt was too outspoken about the creative team which truthfully isn't hard to believe previous reports also mentioned that Wyatt reportedly didn't appreciate the team's ideas regarding his originally planned return which we know was then canceled because of his release mcmahon reportedly will also shout derogatory things to Wyatt over his body due to Wyatt being outspoken no doubt that's what i'm assuming so i can't tell you enough how happy i am for vince to be gone because someone like when him, he cannot operate at his maximum potential with a fool like that running around in charge this man if i remember correctly thought some folks on the roster were what he called too pro wrestling after that botched horrific hell in a cell match between rollins and the fiend too like too pro wrestling i thought that's what we were watching bro <laughs> like comments like that are exactly why this man's removal was for the best he had no he was completely out of touch this mcmahon we can be thankful to him for a lot of things but it doesn't even matter how he got out of how he got out of the office and how he got out of the position of power the fact that he was on his way out was all that anyone cared about and the minute those were those reports and allegations came out i was holding on to hope that he would just be gone because the product has been suffering for quite a long time people like wyndham rotunda were not able to completely again flex the creative ability that they have with this fool in office you know showing up to raw ripping up screenplays showing up to all these shows prior to them starting ripping up all these things that the creative team had come up with it's it's like at this point why do you have a creative team all in all vince mcmahon was only interested in getting a show that vince mcmahon liked he didn't care if you liked it or not as long as he was happy that's all that mattered to you that's why a lot of the shows were so terrible i appreciate how everything tonight 
on Extreme Rules. Basically, every match had a story behind it. They weren't just thrown together last minute. Everything felt like a feud was there. Extreme Rules was actually extreme for once in quite, in quite some years. So his absence is for the best. Imagine having a problem that someone wants to actually put on a good show so you make a fool out of them for standing up for their character and that and the creative process for said character. Like it's just completely ridiculous. The arguments of him not being able to wrestle also are nonsense. I've seen that tossed around so many times. Wyndham has displayed that he is very talented in the ring and the one match I know many people will use as a reference is that 2014 match he had with Daniel Bryan I believe it was at Royal Rumble I will also throw out there I've tweeted about this match so many times that six man tag match with the shield from Elimination Chamber another classic match and just several other instances where he has shown that he is a very talented in ring competitor what was the problem was that he had a fool holding him back and that fool is gone someone who actually wants to see wrestling wrestling thrive and is looking forward to the future is now at the helm i get that there might be some things that i already do not like about what triple h has done such as the fact that i think that um Shayna Baszler should already at this point be champion. I think putting the title on Ronda Rousey is a mistake, but in Triple H's head, maybe he wants to do a story between Shayna and Ronda where Shayna is chasing Ronda and she's going to dethrone Ronda as a champion. And Shayna will ultimately be your champion heading into WrestleMania. But Bray Wyatt being back, that was the highlight of the night and it was a very well done return. Something like that and the way it was all executed and presented is just a, another sign of of the breath of fresh air that you have now that Vince McMahon is gone. He was terrible for the product. At his, at his current stage of what he was doing, he was terrible for the product. Matches feel like they are, I, I just love how everything feels so much more sport oriented now. And with Wyndham back, he doesn't need to win the world title. He doesn't need to do a lot of things that you might think. If he can just go out there and be like an Undertaker type of character and display that in-ring capability with some nice put together story storylines with who he's targeting, then Wyndham is all set. And I think we're going to be in for some very special moments with Wyndham under this new administration. So I cannot wait to see what he has to say on Monday Night Raw if he appears or on SmackDown if he appears there. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and near this video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.